you know what I reckon you do this on purpose you do get in some of the most awkward places uh, and I'm getting old you know anyway today I'm in Blackpool again wouldn't you know it with the tower behind me there and we're off to a place called the cottage fish and chip shop which is home to all the stars and the famous people apparently anybody who's anybody has been to the cottage uh, little and large probably Morecambe and Wise the two Ronnies I could guess uh, all the pictures will be all over the wall I have seen as well Peter Kay's been there as well and now the McMaster is about to go there and we're going to mark them out of 10 um, I've heard that it is the most famous place the place the the fish and chip shop for the stars so that's where we're off it, I think it's along the back streets as well so we're gonna have a wander there we're gonna take you guys with us we're gonna mark it out of 10 um, I want you to mark it out of 10 as well on Lux alone and uh, if you're new to the channel I feel a complete prat here on the floor by the way <laughs> if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button it's free it's not like a magazine hit that thumbs up yep they're all looking at me <laughs> now without further ado my friends let's go Tell you this is a little bit off the beaten track I put it in my Google and it says oh it's about you know down that down this way basically it's like a mile god blimey I've got a dab on come on good grief how far is this place oh, I'll be in Manchester soon oh I take all my layers off it was Oh, I can't get my arm out. It was, oh, it was grim this morning on the way up. Now it's roasting. I'd got all my layers on. There we go. Oh, God, blimey. Fish and chip shop to the stars. Surely. Why don't you put one nearer the sea? Are you going to tell me now there's another one? I think they have opened another one that's closer, but we're going to keep going. Come on, onwards. Is this taking me? Good grief. I'll have worked up an appetite by the time I get there. People say, how do you stay so trim eating everything? It's because I walk everywhere. I mean, fish and chip shop to the stars. I bet they had to get a taxi or something to get here. Come on. These better be good. Right, here we are, the cottage. Let's just hope it's open now. Since 1920. Right, here we are at the cottage in Blackpool. This is the fish and chip shop to the stars. Everybody's been here. Uh, I'll put their link in the description down below. We're going to mark it out of 10. Uh, you're going to mark it out of 10 as well on looks alone and on price. The question is, have they costed in the fact that this place has had all the stars there? Or I'm going to be honest and we're going to mark it for what it is. Let's put the stars to the side and all the famous people and let's get down to business and mark the fish and chips out of 10. Come on, onwards. Here we are at the famous The Cottage, where everybody's been. Right. And, and this lovely lady behind the counter there said, I can go next door. Let's not sit down until later on at night, is it? Uh, it is open half past 11 till 2. What, the next door? In, in the restaurant. Oh, can I? 
Can you eat in there? It looks. Oh, right. Did, I've ordered it. Do you mind me eating in there? I don't mind paying extra. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Brilliant. I shall pop in there then and we'll eat in there. Look around. There's pictures on the wall of all the different famous people, so I'm super excited about it. inside the cottage and I've got to tell you it's making the hair stand up on the back of my neck with all the people on the wall here it's fantastic just take a look around I was so wrapped up in it all and enjoying it so much I didn't want it to end I wanted another five test matches in that series I wanted to keep playing this woman opened the door and two men were stood there and they went Mrs Jackson she said yeah CID she said hello, Sid. I love this theatre. There's something about it that has an intimate feel. It reminds me of home. It's filthy and full of strangers. <laughs> Grandma's always go early. Wedding. Sandra, your grandma's going now. It's ten to eight. <laughs> Did they even ask you to audition? Audition? <laughs> Chairman of the board, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Sinatra. Round and by night. Hello, campers. Rise and shine. Well, it's a beautiful Matthews morning. My special guest tonight is the artist formerly known as Yoyos Kyriakos Paniotu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, please, George Michael. The right honourable gentleman ends as pious and pompous as he's been throughout this party. I didn't go to drama school. My uncle, who was the director at the time, said that you should go to RADA. The world snooker champion, 1981, Steve Davis. The problem is, what am I going to tell my grandchildren I did for a living? <laughs> <laughs> no, not like no, 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 no. Believe it, honestly, I just thought it was going to be a little bit in the back of Best magazine, and all the national papers picked up on it. <laughs> the country up and how do you expect us to pay for it? Jim. I mean, people have started looking down on you. If you claim benefit now. He is a rapper, a grime MC, a chat show host and a force of nature. I am now a farmer, yes, and utterly exhausted as a result. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to keep your emu in tip-top condition. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you are my sign of the year. I'm going to win you back before you and Phil tie the knot. Right, okay, I've got to tell you before I start, I love nostalgia and looking around this place, um, it really does make the hair stand up on the back of my neck. Um, now, I've got the fish chips, they, t they told me to do a deal here as well, uh, which was nice of them, so the lady actually says, oh, you can get a cheaper deal if you do like the lunchtime deal, etc. Uh, I'm just going to look at my Revolut because I can't remember exactly what that cost me, let me just have a look, here we go, I'm on Face ID, here we go. Uh, that was £6.80. Uh, so I've got a Diet Coke, I've got fish chips, mushy peas, I've got my curry sauce just here, um, homemade tartar sauce as well. Um, before we go any further though, take a closer look my friends. <laughs> Right, my friends, sorry I'm a little bit uh, sweaty, but I've walked a long way. I've got to tell you, first impressions, it looks excellent. Now, what is 
extra special for me here is I used to love Les Dawson and his picture is there uh, looking right at me and I'm told that this was his favorite table he didn't like anybody you know, he didn't like all the all the fanciness and all the showbiz and stuff and people. He, he just liked to come in here, sit here and eat his fish and chips. And this was the table that he chose all the time. So I have to say, I am completely, completely honoured. Um, and uh, I've got to say as well, value-wise, before I dig into these, uh, value, for, value for money, I actually thought it was going to cost a lot more. But the lady in there pointed me in the right direction uh, for the uh, for the deal that was on offer we're going to put the uh, vinegar on here first vinegar first and then salt of course uh, so the vinegar doesn't wash off the salt um, also got as well uh, the blow monkeys up there who I went to see in concert and they've eaten here uh, so I'm super excited about this um, we're going to leave the lemon to the side there we're going to cut into the fish itself I mean price wise you cannot fault it look at that absolutely spot on the batter nice and crispy on the outer mm. no skin on the fish which is how I like it uh, we're going to go in for a little bit of curry sauce I'm just going to put it on the edge there nice consistency uh, we're going for the peas first though let's not make that mistake peas first Good colour, not too fluorescent. Wow, they taste really, really nice. Um, I'm going to go in again for some more fish. I can't believe this. Nice piece of fish there. Absolutely spot on. Just look at the flakes of that fish. Just look at that. Right, absolutely spot on. It's haddock, by the way. Uh, no skin on it, which you know is just how I like it. We're going to go in for the chips. A slight crispiness to the out, fluffy on the inner. Absolutely spot on. I'm going to, even though I've put the curry sauce on the side there, I'm actually going to go and dip into the jug of curry sauce. Wow, that is beautiful. You know what? I was expecting, I was expecting because all the stars have come here, I thought, I thought, oh, you know, it's just hype, but it isn't. It really is. First class, really is. I'm going to, I'm going to swear it's bloody gorgeous. Oh, mmm. You can see why people choose to come here. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, it is quiet because I've literally come just before two o'clock I managed to catch it before they closed um, so the lady's very kindly waiting for me very fr very friendly stuff I have to say I'm gonna go in for another chip the peas by the way gorgeous hmm oh yeah fantastic right I'm gonna enjoy these come back to you and then we'll mark it out of ten but that batter Superb, absolutely superb. Mm. By the way, the lady that originally owned this years and years ago was the first lady, the first person in Blackpool to sell fish and chips, I'm told. So there's a little bit of information for you. Fantastic. Tell you what, Les, you were right, spot on. He's winking at me there. Wow, that homemade tartar sauce, absolutely gorgeous. My word, I am thoroughly enjoying this. I tell you, 
unbelievable oh wow my mum being from Lancashire um, would, uh, would be saying fantastic you can't beat them Right, now I've got my breath. Um, <clears throat> right, I'm just gonna have a quick drink, one second, wash it all down. I've got to say, I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect because I thought, well, you know, all the stars have been here, etc. and is it just hype? And will it live up to the hype? And I've got to tell you, it has. That was thoroughly, thoroughly, well, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the fish, Nice and flaky, straight away, uh, no skin on the fish, which, which obviously you know I don't like. Um, the mushy peas, I'm gonna say, I did have a favorite mushy pea before. These are now my favorite mushy peas. The taste of them was just uh, divine, is the, is the right word? Just l lovely, really, really tasty. Um, and the curry sauce, just the right amount of kick, uh, great consistency. Uh, the batter, beautiful, nice and crispy. The fish inside, nice and flaky. And the gentleman, I think, who owns it, the lady said, said it is a fishmonger as well. Um, so, and, it, and it's steeped in history as well. And I feel totally honoured to be sat at the table that the great Les Dawson once used to sit at all the time. This was his regular place, his regular fish and chip shop when, when he was in Blackpool and this was the table that he always requested. So I feel humbly honoured to sit at the same table as the great comedian um i mean how do i mark this out of 10 um I, it's got to be a 10 uh it has to be a 10 i think on price as well uh the lady when i came in uh i said oh, i'll have uh, fish uh, chips mushy peas and a curry sauce and she guided me to what would be the most cost effective method to do that um they didn't know i was coming uh, and I did say when I got in there, I said, I'm just going to quickly film it if you don't mind. She says, that's fine. Um, so cost-wise as well, um, absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend this. Come and visit it. Come and visit it for yourself. Um, I wouldn't walk all the way from the promenade like I did. Probably park somewhere closer. There's loads of parking around here. Um, they have a Facebook page as well. I'll put their Facebook page in the description down below. But I have to say... I really enjoyed that and yet again um, family owned business uh, support family family businesses uh, thoroughly enjoyed it for me I think that is the best fish and chips uh, that I've tasted in Blackpool so uh, it deserves it deserves a 10 there we go that's all from me today thanks for having me Les Dawson over there winking at me what a what a legend um, Honestly, it really is just great to come in here though and see all the different people on the walls. As I say, it is quiet because I've literally, uh, it's now 10 minutes past their closing time and the ladies very, very kindly stayed behind for me. So um, friendly staff, great place. What more can I say? There we go. The Cottage uh, Fish and Chip Shop in Blackpool. That's all from me today. Give us a thumbs up uh, if you don't mind. And also... Hit that subscribe button. Uh, it is free. doesn't cost you a penny. It's not like a magazine. I hope you enjoyed it. You didn't enjoy it as much as I did, I can tell you. They were absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Won't be eating until tomorrow morning now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I tell you what, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I went in there thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to show them, you know, as I normally do. But I've got to give credit where credit's due. <laughs> Honestly, fantastic. I always say Yorkshire fish and chips are the best, but I tell you what, Lancashire, mum, they're on a par. Cheers. Oh man, brilliant. <laughs> I wonder if they'll put a picture of me up in there. I doubt it. Do you? Maybe have a word with them.